thanks Tom it's really interesting to hear how um, you don't have to have been a natural reader to be able to have a go and become a great writer and um, it's all about having those great ideas and um, so with that in mind I've got some things I'd like you to think about this morning and um, to help you this week so first thing is what do you enjoy reading and um, the chances are what you enjoy somebody else will enjoy as well um, what genre, what type of books do you like to read? So that means, um, could it be that you like adventure stories or fairy tales? Or do you like books that have got some kind of magic in them? So have a little think to yourself first of all about what it is that you enjoy reading. And then when you've done that, I want you to think about the things that you enjoy as a writer. What do you enjoy writing about? Is it the same as what you enjoy reading or is it different? Okay, do you enjoy writing stories the most or do you like doing poetry? Or maybe you like writing things as if you're writing a diary extract, I don't know. Okay, so it's just to start, start you thinking about how you are as a reader and as a writer. Okay, so that's your first little task. Once you've done that, I then want you to think about um, how you're going to tackle your first activity. And today, what I would like you to have a go at doing is writing just the opening of a new story, okay? So you can write, obviously, the whole of your story if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just write a really good opening to your story. So to help us with our opening of our story, um, I've got a bit of a spider diagram. I like to get my ideas down onto a bit of paper and write some notes. So I've written story opening on the middle of my sheet and then I've written the, the five W's um, around the outside. So if you're not sure, the five W's are who, what, why, where and when. And they're really good for helping you get your ideas down and think about planning your story. So for instance, I've started off here with my who. Um, my story is going to be about me and a couple of my friends. So I've just written, jotted that down on here. And um, that means that my story is going to be in the first person so that I will be talking about me and um, I when I'm talking about things in my story. My next bit is what's going on, what's happening, what am I going to be doing with my two friends. So I've decided we're going to go um, shopping, love shopping. And then the why is um, we're going to be going and finding me some new uh, trainers, let's say. Okay, now that on its own could be a really boring story, just going shopping for some trainers. So I need to think about where it's happening. Um, so somewhere where there's lots of shops, I'm going to go for Foss Park. I know that's got lots of different shops I could go in with my friends and um, to make this an interesting story I'm going to think about what it is that we discover it's not going to be an ordinary shopping trip so for instance it could be that um, we want to go upstairs to find the trainers and find the shoe section but actually the lift takes us down and takes us into a cellar or a basement and it opens up into a secret world that nobody else knew about um, and so that might be what we discover and might make it a bit of an adventure or an exciting story okay so I'm going to put here um, why is trainers where is Foss Park what is going to happen is we're going to discover a secret door no one else knows about this is going to happen when so I haven't said that bit yet I think this is going to happen on a um, Saturday morning so I'm just going to jot that down here Saturday morning and it could be um, after breakfast okay so all set up ready for the day so there I've got my ideas down you can pause this video now and draw yourself your own spider diagram get some of your ideas out of your head about what you could do it could be you're going on an adventure on your own or it could be something that starts off very ordinary like mine um, remember this is the opening of your story if you want to write all of it you can but it's about focusing on setting the scene and the opening okay so the next thing we can think about is how we're going to start it. Now, I had my when, um, and I think I would start mine with simply that. So I would have um, after breakfast, uh, late 
one Saturday morning. Now that's a fronted dead bobo, so I'm just going to put my comma. So after breakfast, late one Saturday morning, I called on Jess and Ava ready for our shopping trip. Okay, so as always, things to think about when you're writing yours, that's just my first sentence. Obviously, you can think about how you're going to lay out your paragraphs, um, think about your neat handwriting, spellings, and of course, punctuation. So it might be you need to put in your commas and your full stops. Um, you only need a pencil and paper for this exercise. Um, you have got the worksheets or you can just do it on a piece of paper that you've got at home. The main thing is to um, have a go, be creative, get those ideas down and with yourself or with your friends in your story, you can discover something amazing. So off you go, have fun and I look forward to hearing how you've got on.